Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind multiple string arrays into grid view control. And here we got the output. We have binded the multiple string arrays into grid view control. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is GridView Multidimension Array. Click OK. And from the templates, I am selecting Empty, OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding web form page. Right click the project name. Add. New item. I'm selecting web form. The web form name is. Add is binding. Click add. And here we got the source page of this newly created web form page. Now between this form and due tag, I'm adding the grid view control open toolbox. I'm expanding the data folder grid view control. Now I want to put this grid view control in the center tag. H1. How to bind multiple string arrays into grid view horizontal line and adding the center tag after the grid view control that's it we have done the designing part right click the mouse go to view code now in the code behind the page load event I'm creating a string arrays to create the string multiple arrays, we have to put the string comma multiple array is the object let's add the arrays the employee name is a charan the email children at gmail.com the country India and the salary is 15,000 let's copy this one I'm creating I'm creating four records After creating the string arrays, before binding into a grid view control, we need to first add the data table. Data table. So we need to add the namespace using system.data. The data table class belongs to the system.data namespace. Now I'll get the data table. It is equals to new data table. I'm adding columns to this data table dt dot columns dot add method the first one I'm adding the EMP name comma the second parameter is a type so add the type dot get type between double quotes system dot string copy this one, this here, this here, this here. The second one is a email. The third column name is a country name. And the last one is a salary. After adding the columns to this data table, now I'm adding the rows for int i is equals to zero i is less than i have four rows i'm adding four i plus plus 
dt dot rows property dot add dt dot rows property dt dot rows I'm counting minus one on minus one the column name employee name is equals to I'm adding this string object I comma zero the array starts with zero so let's copy this one str the second one is the email copy this one and paste here country the last one is the salary and we need to change the multiple arrays here one the first second column the third column and the last one is a fourth column now it's time to bind the arrays to the grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to dt data table grid view one dot data bind method that's it we have done the complete coding part Let's check the results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the output. We have binded the multiple string arrays into grid view control. That's it.